I'm Marvat al Asnaj, and I'm here with PCR Online following the late breaking clinical trials at ACC 2022. Today I'm going to cover for you the GATI trial that was just presented earlier this morning. And with me are the investigators, and we will discuss several aspects. The first of which is a summary of the trial itself and the uh, most important findings. The, um, how the trialists were able to uh, collect and recruit centers, 38 centers from across the globe, from 19 different countries. How this trial, how this database, basically an NCDR improvement project, um, was able to perform in different health systems, be it urban or rural, etc. And more importantly, how did it inform us on um, subgroups such as women? What do we know and where, what are the areas of improvement that are required in that territory? And finally, what are the future directions uh, and future potential for the GATI uh, registry? Thank you and please follow along as the uh, investigators introduce themselves and answer these many questions. Hello, I'm Cesar Herrera. I'm the current chair of the American College of Cardiology Global Heart Attack Treatment Initiative registry amongst all the Americas representative of the ACC at the Board of Governors. Um, this registry, uh, GATI, is being released today, first time. We are presenting the two-year data. It's a global registry that involves 38 sites in 19 countries across all continents. It was designed with the understanding that international systems of care for STEMI use of quality indicators and measurement of metrics are very scant across countries, uh, particularly low and middle income countries. And so the ACC interested in expanding its global vision and supporting nations um, designed this trial with the purpose of understanding what is going on with the treatment of STEMI right now. We learned from the NCDR, just being in my US registry and subtracted items data points and measurements from that registry and then apply it to these sites that volunteer to join in. Uh, the requirement was to enroll consecutive patients with a STEMI. Uh, sites reported the data blindly, that is, patients' identification was not uh, visual. We knew the report of each country and each country knew the findings of the data but the data was not shared among the centers for confidentiality purposes. We measure any number of uh, indicators and essentially what we found was that uh, it appears that people are reading the guidelines out there because there was a very high rate of adherence to guidelines directed medical therapy. And in the composite endpoint, the main endpoint of the study, which combined proportion of patients discharged alive cardiac arrest before and after intervention, residual ejection fraction less than 40%, and so forth, we find a 3.7% improvement over the study period, um, first to last quarter, and a 1.7% improvement in the uh, percent of patients discharged alive. So even though this was not an interventional study, that is, it's a registry, we observed important improvements that in some countries were more modest, and in others were more pronounced, indicating that it's feasible to do registries like this outside the United States, indicating that there is a need uh, to support low and middle income countries for them to develop their own implementations and culture change required to improve the treatment of STEMI worldwide. So we're looking into the future for branching off these findings. For example, looking at gender differences, potential gender differences there may be, looking at regional differences uh, in different areas of the world. And, uh, you know, basically this guy is open to look at what we can do to help these nations in the future. I'm Hadley Wilson. I'm uh, Vice President of the American College of Cardiology and uh, also a uh, member of the uh, Gotti Work Group under Dr. Herrera. And uh, to understand how we were able to recruit is to really understand more about the ACC as a global organization. We have over 56,000 members in over 42 chapters or in those countries, 42 separate countries. 
and uh, through our network um, as it was identified that we wanted to have more global projects to reduce uh, cardiovascular death and specifically make an impact in the over three million STEMIs per year or more worldwide that are estimated. Uh, we reached out to the so-called chapter governors or the leaders in these 42 countries or chapters. Uh, we made them aware of uh, this program and uh, asked for their recruitment of uh, hospitals and health centers that might benefit uh, from the Gotti project. This was uh, entirely supported uh, by the ACC in terms of funding and so for uh, interested parties that were uh, interviewed and uh, were made to see that they were able to uh, participate in the study when they were selected. Um, we had uh, data coordinators that uh, introduced them to the data forms that would be collected, um, sometimes on laptop and otherwise, and uh, those were then uh, sent in quarterly and collated and then sent back uh, to the respective uh, participants, the respective uh, hospitals and uh, centers that participated. It was all done with uh, protection of uh, public or patient health information and also the data was anonymized by the centers. So the center could see how they were doing on the metrics as were discussed, uh, but they were, they could compare themselves to the larger group, but um, they did not know who were the other centers or what the other centers data were. So this was not to be a competition except amongst uh, their own self for their own self-improvement. And indeed, as uh, Dr. Herrera pointed out, really by uh, just uh, employing this type of system, uh, you know what they say, if you don't measure it, you can't improve it. And the corollary is if you do measure it, particularly in the uh, physician realm, uh, you usually do try and improve it. And we were happy to see that that did happen over this uh, course of this uh, first two years of reported data. So we, as we know from research and studies, uh, as we answer questions, we have more questions. And uh, certainly one of the best questions is, uh, how are we performing with different health systems? Um, how are we performing, for example, with private hospitals versus public hospitals? Um, hospitals that are tertiary or quaternary and uh, major urban centers versus rural hospitals. And that part we still need to continue to investigate and explore. Now, on the other hand, we are trying to um, go with some of the guidelines for trying to have um, systems of care from rural to uh, areas where uh, tertiary quaternary centers where a patient can get definitive care like PCI or thrombolytic and to try and get that expediently done uh, with transport systems and coordination of care uh, from the first contact of the patient until they are uh, treated uh, definitively for their STEMI. So the questions that remain are, and we will try and solve or answer those questions uh, over time as we continue this project because it is ongoing, it's growing, we're continuing to recruit centers. And uh, by the way, um, I think if you just uh, contact uh, acc.org, you can find the Gotti site, any centers that are potentially interested in being considered to enter this in the future. We would love to have you considered as we try to expand this, but then as we do that, we do hope to answer questions like, uh, how is the alignment with private centers versus public centers versus health systems? Uh, we do know that the data came uh, from about 78% were in low and middle income countries, um, and we will try and compare ultimately in an anonymized way um, how these different uh, centers perform and try and get more understanding of exactly what needs to be done to improve systems of care in uh, different areas of the world. Because as we know, if you have one system of care, that's one system of care, but it may not work in the next country over. Hello, my name is Ben Levinson. I'm an interventional cardiologist from Berlin, Germany. Um, I was the founding chair of the Gatti project and currently I'm 
the European representative of the Assembly of International Governors Steering Committee of ACC. Um, when we first analyzed uh, the uh, data uh, of GATI uh, submitted to us uh, from the uh, participating centers, uh, we found out that one of the focuses uh, to go on was um, the inequality in uh, treatment. So, um, uh, to be precise, we found that only roughly 20% uh, of uh, women were uh, going into the uh, line of uh, cardiac care uh, in our registry. And this uh, seemed to be very representative uh, all over the regions uh, in the world taking part at GATI. Uh, and so with the accumulated data, we ended in around 12 to 30% um, of female patients included in the STEM, in the STEM project. Due to uh, legal um, uh, questions, um, Patient Protection Act in, in, in the different regions, we at this point were not able to go into depth with the data because this needs uh, an improvement uh, by the centers and it needs a consent uh, by the patients to go on with uh, analyzing the data. Uh, one of the future aims of uh, GATI is to uh, go back to the centers and to um, get them even more aboard um, to have a deep insight in what these data mean. And uh, through spreading, uh, spreading the um, GATI project uh, to other centers, to other countries, um, we uh, try to get more information about uh, risk factors, about comorbidities, about medication, and then be able to compare the findings um, within the groups, male, female, or within countries, um, to improve patient care worldwide. Um, there are examples how to do that, and we can learn from other registries which were facing the same problems in the beginning. Uh, and you always need to understand that GATI is a work in progress, so uh, we're improving um, sidewise uh, from quarter to quarter and the whole project is uh, improving by getting more details about the data. Thank you.